Hello guys, welcome to the coding classroom. Today we'll consider a example a currency system flowchart. So let's consider a currency system in which there are nodes of eight denominations, namely rupees one, two, five, ten, twenty, fifty, hundred, and five hundred. So if we enter a sum of rupees amount uh, through the keyboard, so we have to draw a flowchart and write a program. To compute the smallest number of nodes that will combine to give that amount okay so when we enter the amount has rupees thousand so we know exactly how many nodes we need we need uh, two nodes of rupees 500 but if we enter the amount as rupees 788 then we get the denom denominations like this we get uh, one note of rupees 500, two note of rupees 100, one note of rupees 50, one note of rupees 20, one note of rupees 10, one note of rupees 5, one note of rupees 2, and one note of rupee 1. So that's total of 788. So here's the output of my uh, C program that's it showing so if we input the amount has rupees 788 then we get the a output exactly as like this so for eight denominations we need eight variables so that we can store the total number of nodes in each of these eight variables respectively so for the variable 500 we store the total number of nodes for rupees 500 we will use the variable 100, we will store the total number of nodes for rupees 100. For 50, we will use the variable 50. For 20, we will, we will use the variable 20. And like this, for 10, rupees 10. For rupees 5, we will we use 5 variable. For rupees 2, we will use variable 2. For rupee 1, we will use variable 1. As always, you can write any program in more than one way. So for rupees uh, 1, 698 if entered as amount through the keyboard can anyone tell calculating in their mind that how many nodes of which denominations we need so let's start from higher denominations in order to get the smallest number of nodes so rupees 1698 can have how many rupees 500 node so for this rupees 500 is the highest denomination node that we have so we subtract it from rupees uh, 1698 and we keep subtracting till the amount becomes less than rupees 500 then we check for other denomination node for each subtraction we count the number of nodes of that denominations and increment the variable associated with that denomination so here 500 um, is the is the note that has been incremented so we increment uh, the variable 500 by 1 so here is the whole solution so if uh, rupees 1698 is there then we get one uh, rupees 500 note and the leftover amount is rupees 1198 so we got one note of rupees 500 then we take this amount again and subtract again with rupees 500 because its amount is greater than uh, 500 uh, we get the second note of uh, rupees 500 and the amount now becomes rupees 698 now again it's greater than 500 so we subtract it again and we get rupees 198 and the third note of rupees 500 now rupees 198 is not greater than 500 but less but greater than 100 and the second higher denomination note is rupees 100 so we subtract it from uh, rupees 198 and we get rupees 98 and uh, first note of rupees 100 then rupees 98 is not greater than 100 but is greater than 50 so we get first note of rupees 50 and the amount becomes rupees 48 then rupees 48 is not greater than 50 but greater than 20 so we get first note of rupees 20 and we get the amount rupees 28 so again rupees 28 is greater than 20 so we get second note of rupees 20 and we get the amount as rupees 8 now rupees 8 is not greater than 10 
but greater than 5 so we get rupees uh, 1 note of rupees 5 so the amount becomes rupees 3 now rupees 3 is greater than rupees 2 so we get rupees uh, 1 note of rupees 2 and the amount becomes rupee 1 and the last one we get is 1 note of rupee 1 so the amount becomes 0 and there then we stop so let's start the flow chart here is the start of a C program we will declare all the header files and that we need and we will declare all the variables that we need so we are using here the standard input output function and the console input output function the standard input output functions contains the printf uh, functions and scanner functions so here is the printf function that we are using and the console input output uh, uh, functions uh, are the we are using will be a gets uh, character function get ch function that uh, that does it's it's holds the program uh, the output st uh, screen states until you press any key and i will tell you uh, more about this later so here all the variables uh, we are uh, declaring initializing it uh, these all are the variables that are using of type integer so so we'll read a number uh, we'll read a number and we'll store that into variable amount so here is the printf function input the amount in the scanf scanf function we what it does it takes the input from the user and we then store it into a variable amount so uh, percent d is the of type integer so then we initialize uh, uh, the variable uh, uh, the value of the variable amount to uh, variable n and we do so because uh, we have to subtract the denominations from the variable n and we will uh, talk about this later uh, we will we will you will you will come to know and here we are using the uh, 500 variable 100 variable 500 variable as as we have talked earlier to store the total number of notes of rupees 500 and 100 will store the total number of notes of rupees 100 and like this and rupees 1 will store the total number of notes uh, the variable 1 will store the total number of, of notes of rupees 1 so here is uh, is n is greater than 0 so here uh, we are using a while loop uh, until this while loop will continue will, will continue to perform the operations till n is greater than 0 so uh, has n is uh, equal to uh, 1 2 3 1 so it is yes if n is greater than equal to 500 uh, it is yes so here is the C program if n is greater than equal to 500 so it's coming under a while loop so we do or uh, we do these operations 500 is 500 plus 1 and n is equal to n minus 500 as we have uh, talked earlier about this so it is yes so 500 becomes 1 and n becomes 731 okay and then we go from here to here again now n is greater than 0 again yes because n is 731 yes so n is greater than equal to 500 it is yes so we will do the operations perform these uh, statements and we get 500 is equal to 2 and n is equal to 231 and we go again here if now we will and go again here as now you can see n becomes 231 and 500 has become 2 so that means we have two notes of rupees 500 and now is n is greater than 0 it is yes is n is greater than or equal to 500 i have to say no because n is equal to 231 is n is greater than or equal to 100 it is yes so here we write the c program if n is greater than or equal to 500 we perform these operations else if n is greater than or equal to 100 so if this is true then it, it will go here if it is not true it will grow it will go here else if n is greater than or equal to 100 it will perform these operations so so it is greater than 100 it is yes so 100 is equal to 100 plus 1 and n is equal to n minus 100 so n becomes 131 and 100 becomes 1 
so it will go uh, from here again here and we'll check if n is greater than 0 it is yes because n is 131 n is greater than 500 no is n is greater than or equal to 100 it is yes and we'll perform these operations and 100 becomes 2 and n becomes 31 so it will go again here and we'll check if n is greater than 0 it is yes because now has n becomes 31 is n is greater than or equal to 500 no is n is greater than or equal to 100 no so it will go from here so we come here and now we check if is n is greater than or equal to 50 so here we have a c program we had if n is greater than or equal to 100 if that condition was true we perform this operation if the, that condition is false we go here else we check if n is greater than or equal to 50 if these conditions are true we go here if these conditions are false then we go here as it is false we go here so if we check if n is greater than or equal to 20 as n is equal to 31 so the condition is true here is the c program here we check if n is equal to uh, greater than 20 then we perform these operations so it is yes so now 20 becomes 1 and n minus equal to 31 minus 20 becomes 11 and we go here from there we come here and now n has become 11 500 we have two note of rupees 500 two note of rupees 100 and one note of rupees 20 so we check again if n is greater than 0 it is yes is n is greater than or equal to 500 it is no is n is greater than or equal to 100 it is no so we check again if is n is greater than or equal to 50 it is no if n is greater than or equal to 20 it is no is n is greater than or equal to 10 so is has n is equal to 11 so it is greater than 10 it is yes so here is a c program so we had earlier if n is greater than or equal to 20 if that condition was true we perform this operation else if n is greater than or equal to 10 if this condition is true if we perform these operations so it is yes so 10 becomes 1 and n becomes 11 minus 10 becomes 1 we go here so now we have n is equal to 1 and we have two notes of rupees 500 two notes of rupees 100 one note of rupees 20 and one note of rupees 10 so we check is n is greater than 0 it is yes is n is greater than or equal to 500 it is no is n is equal to greater than 100 it is no so is n is greater than or equal to 50 it is no is n is greater than or equal to 20 it is no is n is greater than or equal to 10 it is no is n is greater than or equal to 5 it is no so here is the c program is n is greater than or equal to 5 so 5 is equal to 5 plus 1 n is equal to n minus 5 we perform these uh, operations but as the condition is no we go here and we go here and we check if n is greater than or equal to 2 so here is the c program we perform these operations if the condition is true but as n is equal to 1 so this condition is false so we perform these operations so else if n is greater than or equal to 2 this condition will be true we are performing these operations so else we are not here checking any condition because the only denomination is left is 1 so so now 1 becomes 1 and n becomes 0 so when n becomes 0 we stop as now we have n is equal to 0 we have two notes of rupees 500 two notes of rupees 100 one note of rupees 20 one note of rupees 10 and one note of rupees 1 so the program comes here is n is greater than or equal to 0 no as n has become 0 so it is the answer is no we go here so the, the while loop has now ended and we come here so we will display uh, this is a display part so here we are using the printf functions so we will uh, use like this to display uh, all the denominations a uh, total number of uh, nodes in each denominations so we will display 500 uh, that's the 2 500 is the value we get 2 2 into 500 
equal to uh, 5 and 2 into 500 that becomes 1000 so we display 100 100 is total number of nodes of rupees 100 is 2 2 into 100 that is equal to 200 2 into 100 becomes 200 we have zero note of rupees 50 so it's zero we have one note of rupees 20 so it becomes 20 we have one note of rupees 10 so it becomes 10 we have zero note of rupees 5 so it becomes zero zero note of rupees 2 it becomes zero we have one note of rupees 1 so it becomes 1 so total rebound becomes uh, 1231 that's 1000 plus 200 is 1200 1220 1230 and 1231 so we stop here this is the C program so we will run here and we will enter the amount as uh, 1231 and we will see what we will get so we got the 2 notes of rupees 500 it becomes 1000 2 notes of rupees 100 that becomes 200 1 note of rupees 20 that becomes 20 1 note of rupees 10 that becomes 10 and 1 note of rupees 1 so it becomes 1231 Thank you.